Welcome back to part two of our Blooming Bomber jacket tutorial. At this point, you should have two six-sided pieces like this in whatever colors you want. Um, we are now going to uh, fold it and sew up where the sleeve is. So what you're gonna do is take two opposite points and you're gonna fold them together like that to make this L fold right here. So you need to decide what's gonna be the top and what's gonna be the bottom, what's gonna be the front and what's gonna be the back. Next, what we're gonna do is single crochet the top. So if that's gonna be my sleeve, I'm gonna single crochet across the top here. So let me show you how to get started and we'll uh, close up that seam. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention is you want to turn this to the inside of your piece. You can see I haven't woven my ends in. So you want to seam on the inside. It just makes for a cleaner uh, join. Okay, so I'm going to match up my corners together here. I'm gonna grab my yarn, join it, and then start with a single crochet. Why are you using that color? Because that's the color they call for. All right, so we're gonna match these stitch for stitch. I'm gonna go across here and single crochet them together. all the way across until you reach the end. Now I'm being very careful to go one for one because if you start skipping or moving, you're gonna wind up with a crooked seam. So I'm going under. Okay, so go ahead and do that and then I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so at this point, you should have single crocheted across the, the top of your shoulder and down your arm. What we're gonna do now, and this part really tripped me up in the pattern because I couldn't figure out what they were talking about, but you're going to figure out what's the front and what's the back. I've decided that this is going to be my back left side, and you are going to, um, double crochet all around here, here, come up over the shoulder and down. And you're gonna do several rows like that where it's just gonna come in a, you're basically doing three sides of your six sided. So that would be one, that would be two, that would be three instead of doing six. We're gonna start here so you don't have a seam up at the shoulder. So I am going to start here, add my yarn, and I'm still on my H hook. There we go. You're going to single crochet, chain up two, and then uh, start your double crochets all the way around. Like that. I'm gonna keep going all the way up here over my shoulder, down the other side, around the bottom, that's now the bottom, and then close it up over here. And you're gonna create a corner here just like you did um, on your other sides. A corner here and a corner here, which means two double crochets, three chains, and two double crochets. I believe you do uh, four or five rows of that. So go ahead and finish that on both sides, and then I'm gonna show you how to do, how to close up the, uh, the arm and create the length on the arm and pull it in. Okay, so the next tutorial I'm gonna show you is how to create the length of the sleeve. It's about a three-quarter sleeve, so the end of your um, six-sided piece ends about here when you do the L-fold, and it's gonna bring you down to about here with the detail. This is a really pretty detail done on the sleeve and you can see here that it comes in. So if you're concerned that your sleeve is wide, um, it's gonna come in 
and then we're going to go down the sleeve. So how many rows of color? Well, this continues to about here. I've just started it. So the next time we have a tutorial, I'm going to show you the rest of that and we're going to join our sweater together. But for now, I want you to work on uh, this piece in between the back and the front. So you're creating an extra length here all around and up the back. Do that, get your the, the top of your shoulder together, and the next time we meet, I'll show you how to do the sleeve. So thanks for now, and we'll see you the next time. You better make up your mind about that rise, Mr. Man. Okay, go back. There you go. There you go.